Welcome to Mozambique and welcome to one square mile Kelimani, the carnival capital of Africa. For all the festivities, it's tough times for Kelimani. But I've heard there's a new mayor in town with a bold approach to urban regeneration. An approach they're saying might work for Kelimani and beyond. His name is Manuel de Arujo. I'm here to meet him, to check out his plan and see if it can work. Located 1,000 kilometers north of the capital Maputo, on a bend of the Borsinais River, the city is the country's third largest. A square mile takes in the riverfront and the historic center. Forty years ago, this city was a powerhouse, a major port and a processing center for the tea and coconut industries. Those days are long gone. All around the city, empty, crumbling buildings tell a story of economic stagnation. So if you want our one square mile in one building, it's this, the cathedral. Built in 1776, it's fallen into disrepair since a modern one was built in the 1960s. An architectural gem now turned into ruins. Its bell vandalized, trees sprouting from it, reduced to a home for street kids. So they're going to show us where they live. This is their house. So this is their bed. This is the big, ultra-sized double bed that ten of them sleep on. So the question is, can you turn this around? That's the litmus test of Kelimani. One man who thinks it can be done is Kelimani's new mayor. Welcome to Kelimani. 43-year-old Manuel de Arujo, son of a teacher and local rice farmer, stood for mayor just over a year ago on an anti-corruption platform. When he was elected with 63% of the vote, Kelimani ground to a halt in celebration. The roads, nobody was taking care of the roads. The buildings, nobody was even painting the buildings. So I thought that, you know, one day we should, uh, somebody should do something about it. I never thought that it would be me, because I thought that, you know, before me, somebody else who will come, but uh, nobody came. Will you show us? Let's go to a problem you face, okay? Let's go to one of your challenges. Let's go there and let's see what your vision is. How are you going to make this happen? This is the was actually, Cine Teatro Agia. And uh, one of the memorable days of my childhood, I think I spent here watching movies. A city without a culture is like a body without a soul. And for Kilimani, if we manage to use culture, then I think we will be able making the renaissance of Kilimani. As I tour the city, I see he's got plenty of things to work with. The pool, abandoned for a decade, reopened six months ago. The Boas Sinais restaurant opened up with it. If Kelimani is to grow and attract investment, the city's crumbling infrastructure will need an overhaul. The Arujos already used the income from local taxes to put in Kelimani's first traffic lights, and the roads are getting fixed as well. Key to his approach is to use local labor and materials. The Arujos' public works program is winning him fans, not least among the people working on them. 
te gostou a presidência dele, dele no Lisboa? É um bom presidente, está a fazer um bom trabalho. Eu estou a gostar de coração. Ah. That was a thumbs up. That was a big thumbs up. But there are other forces waning on the mayoral parade. Floods in Mozambique. Floods in Mozambique have displaced some 70,000 and killed more than 40. And they've now hit our one square mile in Kelimani. You escape colonial occupation. You escape civil war. You escape Marxist Leninism. And you get hit by climate change and bigger and stronger floods. Can the Arujo bring about a renaissance for Kelimani? If he can succeed in tapping into the city's human potential, the bells of Kelimani Cathedral may one day ring again. <laughs>